with a big round helmet, a backpack full of snacks, and a heart full of questions, Om Sum traveled through space in his shiny little spaceship. His eyes sparkled as Saturn came into view, the rings spinning around the planet like a giant hula hoop. Om Sum had visited many planets before, but none had puzzled him quite like Saturn. Other planets had moons, too, sure. Earth had one, Mars had two, Jupiter had a whole bunch. But Saturn? Saturn had over 80 known moons, some big, some small, some shaped like potatoes, and some that just looked like floating ice balls. Om Sum scratched his helmet. What made Saturn the moon collector of the solar system? As his ship gently floated near the planet, Om Sum looked at the giant gas ball in front of him. Saturn wasn't like Earth. It didn't have land to walk on. It was made mostly of gas, like hydrogen and helium. If someone tried to land on it, they'd just sink in like dropping a marble into a cloud. Around it swirled its stunning rings made of ice, dust, and rock. <laughs> but it was the moons that really caught Om Sum's attention. He floated closer to one of the larger moons, Titan. Bigger than Mercury, and with thick clouds covering its surface, Titan looked mysterious and orange. Om Sum made a note in his journal. Saturn's moons weren't just many. They were different from each other, too. Huh? Huh? So why did Saturn have so many? Aum Sum imagined Saturn as a giant space vacuum cleaner. Long ago, when the planets were still being born, space was full of chunks of rock and ice crashing into each other. Some of these chunks got pulled in by Saturn's gravity and started to orbit around it. Over time, these became moons. Some were captured from outside, like visitors who came too close and couldn't leave. Others were born from Saturn's own neighborhood, formed from pieces of the rings or debris left behind from bigger moons that had broken apart. But Saturn didn't just pull moons in, it also kept them. While some planets might lose moons over time, Saturn's wide rings and strong gravity helped keep its moons in place. Its moons weren't all circling the same way, or the same distance. Some were close, some were far, and some zipped around Saturn in wobbly paths like bees that had too much space juice. Umsum looked down at another moon, Enceladus. This moon had an ocean under its surface. He made another note. Saturn's moons weren't just plenty. They were fascinating. Hmm.